Call of Duty Mobile is one of the most played games currently on mobile. Since launch, it had better results than PUBG, Clash of Clans, any other game out there. It is sitting way on the first rank. So today, I'm going to tell you guys how to install it on a computer. Why? Because as myself as being a YouTuber, I had to get some footage on YouTube of it. And the thing was, my phone, it wouldn't be able to handle Call of Duty and recording and all of that stuff at the same time. Also, it is so difficult to play with your thumbs. I mean, I don't have a very large phone, so with my thumbs in a way, I can't see anything. So, it will be much better if you play like on a tablet or something, but unfortunately my pocket size is not that big. So yeah, we're going to do a tutorial on how to install it on your computer. We're also going to try to see if controller works on it as well. I know a lot of people rather prefer controller over mouse and keyboard, so yeah, without further ado, let's Let's open our webs, uh, our internet browser. So you're just taking, gonna open it, and you are gonna search Blue Stacks. So once you've got Blue Stacks, here it is. Blue Stacks is all right. I'll tell you guys now what Blue Stacks is. So we're just gonna go to bluestacks.com. It's just technically to download it. You're gonna say download Blue Stacks. As you guys can see here, Windows 64 bit. You can download, or if it's some other operating system like Mac or 32 bit, or etc. etc. You can just download it from there. So I'm gonna say download Blue Stacks. And there we go, blue stacks is finished. We can just minimize that and I've got no idea where it just downloaded. So my blue stacks went under my download folder. So I just dragged it here on my desktop. Here's blue stacks for you. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna open it technically and run it. So yeah, blue stacks is very crucial to have. Um the reason what blue stacks is for, uh you're just gonna say install now. It's gonna install, it's got a 500 megabyte small update. So blue stacks, what it technically does is it's a program that you install on your computer that allows you to have Play Store uh apps and games installed so I mean you can even use blue stacks for Clash of Clans, blue stacks for PUBG, blue stacks for um, Free Fire, you can have screen grabber and Snapchat and all of that stuff on your blue stacks. So everything you can have on your phone installed from the Play Store, you can have now on your computer as well. So there's another big tutorial for you guys. A uh, really good thing to know in the future. So yes, as I said, the, the download is 500 megabytes. If you don't have uncapped internet, it might hurt you a bit, but it's definitely worth it afterwards. I mean, even Call of Duty Mobile has got like one gig. Just go sit at McDonald's or something, use their wireless internet for an hour or something. It will go pretty quick. So yeah, so now currently it's just extracting the files, and then yeah, you will, you will be able to log straight into it. You're going to have to log in with your email account, obviously I'll just bypass that part, and then you can just go to the search bar and search Call of Duty Mobile. So yeah, let's just let this one finish up quick. So once your blue stacks is finally installed and you have signed in, you're going to be at a similar page than mine. Please note that sometimes this back screen does change, you'll have Clash of Clans or any other game as you guys can see. So we're going to go and install Call of Duty Mobile now. So you're going to go to Google Play Store as you would have on your phone. You're going to go and search here on top for uh, Call of Duty Mobile. But luckily with me, as you guys can see, previously games installed Call of Duty Mobile. So you're just going to go into it. You're going to go and say install as simple as that. So before we continue and while it is installing, I quickly want to talk to you guys about BlueStacks. BlueStacks has got a lot of performance issues. For example, when you do install it, everything goes to its minimal um, settings and I've actually got a video up for it. I'll drop it in the description below, go check it out. But I'm just going to give you guys a, f like a quick briefing on what you've got to do. So you're going to go to settings and over here you've got to make sure your DPI and everything is at max or wherever you want. Let's say your screen monitor can go up to 2560, you can just drop it there. But for example, mine is 120 by 180, we've got 320 DPI. You're going to go to your engine and you guys will find this at custom and this one probably at 1 and this one like all the way down like 1.8 gig or something like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to make sure your computer is on OpenGL or whatever else there is. Do not have it on their direct X. This is going to work off your motherboard's graphics and not your graphics card. Your game is going to be so laggy. So put it on OpenGL. You're gonna, you can even say use advanced if you want to, but it's not really necessarily. Then you're gonna come to performance, you're gonna put it on high. So I know my I know my CPU, I've got four cores. If you guys can check your under custom, you can push it up to six cores. But doing that, you'll probably just put a lot of strain on your CPU for performance-wise and stuff. So you're just gonna go put it on a high or medium and etc. etc. 
I just prefer on high. And then your friends with second, I think you'll find it at 30. Um, so yeah, what you gotta do is just bump it all the way up to 60 or you can leave it at 30 as you want. So yeah, you're gonna go and restart your device. I'm not gonna do that now. So yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly wait for Call of Duty Mobile. It's finished. <clears throat> we can consider that it's done. It's 98%. But yeah, let us just quickly finish up. It's probably gonna have to install afterwards as well. Then we're gonna go and check it out. There we go, Call of Duty is installed, it'll pop up right there, and I think it also makes a shortcut, there is a shortcut right over there, on oh my game, there we go, PC is bugging out on me now, there we go, there's Call of Duty, you can just start it up from there, or you can just click on it over here, so this is technically all the stuff you need to know, one advice I can give you guys is aim and pan with mouse, meaning that when you are in game, I'll show you guys now, so yeah, it doesn't even give any options for controller, but we will go test it out now, so we're just going to give it some permission, we got to say OK, allow and allow, and there we go, so now Call of Duty Mobile will sign in, I'm going to go get my controller really quick to see if it also works, which I hopefully it does it will i mean it will be so awesome for you guys there we go we're in a call of duty currently um i'm still on mouse and keyboard i've got my controller right over here so just to show you guys that if you guys look on the screen i don't know if you guys can see it's got like awsd it shows you where to walk around how to go to your gun and switch loadouts and etc and etc so what we're gonna do is just plug in quickly the the controller let's see if it's gonna work guys i really do hope it's gonna work Alright, it's plugged in, I'm switching it on, let's see if it's going to get connection, even if it does, it needs to like, hook up with the game as well, I mean that, if I don't get it right, maybe I'll make a specific video, try to find out more information, no, it, it doesn't want to connect at all, as you guys can see, I can move my mouse cursor around, but I can't move with the controller around so unfortunately it doesn't seem like it's working maybe there's some settings i gotta look after like look at so yeah then technically if you're mouse and keyboard we're gonna go to a quick multiplayer match so yeah i'm gonna show you guys in-game settings as well otherwise you guys will struggle to play so we're just gonna go random and there we go so yeah technically what happened is for you to have your cursor and go away from cursor you gotta press f1 and then technically everything else remains normal the thing is that if you don't press F1, you're going to have to drag your screen around with your mouse cursor, and that's not really recommended at all. There we go, we're in, we're going to choose our loadout too, I'm going to play with a sniper this round. So as you guys can see, I'm moving my cursor, but my dude's not moving, so I've got to press F1, and there my guy's moving. So this is something I wanted to show you guys, if you guys don't have that enabled, you guys won't be able to play. I mean, playing like this, you'll have to drag your screen around, and then shoot and reload, no, that will be, that will be insane. Oh my goodness, I went out too far there. So yeah, I'm just going to play some Call of Duty. If you guys want to watch, thank you so much. Uh, otherwise, I do hope you guys find this tutorial very useful. Please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Sniper down! Come on, dude! I shot you through the window! Okay, let's go this way around. Oh, that was almost two shots. There we go. Right, he dropped pretty quick. I was waiting for you, brother. Alright, there's another person in there. Can't see anything. I'm just waiting. I'm like scared they come from this angle. Okay, let's activate UAV. I can hear many footsteps. Oh, there they are. Yo, this guy is lagging. He was lagging for a moment. Alright, we're gonna use our... I don't know what you call it, red. No, it's not that. Dude, you almost had me. This is actually a good camping spot. Yeah, yeet. Oh my word, did they, what did they kill me with? Grenade launcher? You're not serious, bro. In Nuketown, that's too OP. Let's use our Predator Missile. And boom, baby, two kills. We've taken the lead. 
Hit! There we go. Oh! That, was, that wasn't supposed to hit. Oh, we can use our UAV again. Alright, we gotta reload. Quick, 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 kill me! There we go. Oh, there's a grenade. Come on, come on, oh! Oh, what? I didn't get that! Oh, I got the kill. Oh! He knew I was there, anyway. Alright, so... We're gonna double H click F1. We're gonna press 4 for our UAV. For our... Alright, engine killer and predator missile. Alright, there is three of them! Boom, baby! Three kills in a row. Are we winning this? Dude, you got a grenade launcher again? I mean, that is really something to do for Call of Duty to put in. Oh, what just killed me? What? He didn't even knew I was there. Oh, this game. Damn, son, I can't compete against two SMGs or AR. Wait, what? Oh damn guys, we like lost of two points because that guy's grenade launcher, but anyway. This gun is actually really really nice. Wow, this guy's got some aim. You can see he's also playing on PC. I think it also puts you on like uh, PC lobbies, honestly speaking. Because sometimes some of these guys are extremely, extremely good. And playing like that on mobile, that will be just shocking. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you guys are still watching, uh, please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe.